Thank you for joining a read aloud story. Fly Guy Presents Dinosaurs by Ted Arnold is highlighted in September of the 2022 PRC Saltillo calendar. This story is read using the TAP strategy to encourage conversation and interaction with the AAC learner. The words we encourage you to model this month are so, scary, big, which, like, wish, and a few others. Let's take a closer look at how to model these words and tap your way through the story. The first step to tap your way through is to pick an activity. We've already done that. We're reading the book, Fly Guy Presents Dinosaurs. Next, you decide how often you will stop and tap. For this story, we suggest tapping after every page of the book. So how do you tap? First, you talk about it. We suggest modeling so scary and big. You can say, that one is scary. He's so big and scary. So scary. So big. Or whatever else grabs your AAC learner's attention. Next, you ask a question and wait for a response. We suggest modeling the word which. Some things you could say are, which one do you like? Which one do you think is scary? Which one? Then you acknowledge their response. This month, we suggest modeling the word like. You could say, I like this one too. I don't like that either. I wonder what it was like to, or whatever else feels natural. Finally, you propel the activity forward or predict. We suggest you model the word wish. You could say, I wish I could see, I wish I had a dinosaur. Do you wish? Enjoy simply listening to the story or tap your way through the story demonstrating words and locations for the AAC learner on their technology, find other words that are interesting to the AAC learner, and use these words in other activities. What will you see as Fly Guy visits the Natural History Museum? Fly Guy Presents Dinosaurs by Ted Arnold Fly Guy Presents Dinosaurs A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz. Buzz and Fly Guy were at the Natural History Museum. This museum has lots of cool stuff, said Buzz. There are dinosaur bones in here. Bones? Fly Guy was excited. They went inside to learn about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs walked to the Earth about 250 million years ago, during the Mesozoic Era. Back then, all the land on Earth was pushed together. This land mass was called Pangaea. Over millions of years, the land drifted apart to form seven continents. Scientists have discovered 700 kinds of dinosaurs. Not all dinosaurs lived at the same time. For example, 
Tyrannosaurus rex and Stegosaurus never met because they lived at different times. Dinosaurs were reptiles. Reptiles are covered in scales. Other reptiles include crocodiles, lizards, and turtles. Dinosaurs are also closely related to birds. That is because of how their leg bones join to their hips. All dinosaurs had scales, but some even had feathers like birds. Baby dinosaurs hatched from eggs. Some eggs were as big as footballs. Others were small. Most dinosaur eggs were laid in nests on the ground. Some dinosaurs, such as Allosaurus, ate other dinosaurs or animals. They were carnivores. Carnivores had sharp teeth for hunting and chewing meat. Other dinosaurs, like Iguanodon, ate only plants. They were herbivores. Herbivores had flat teeth for chewing leaves. Tyrannosaurus rex was a carnivore. T. rex had sharp teeth and claws. It could run fast and had a good sense of smell. T. rex was about 40 feet long. That's as long as a school bus. T. rex was a great hunter. That is why T. rex is called King of the Dinosaurs. Many dinosaurs, including T. rex, were predators. They hunted other dinosaurs or animals called prey. Dinosaurs had weapons to scare off predators or to hunt prey. Many predators, like Velociraptor, had sharp teeth and claws. Stegosaurus was an herbivore. It had a large, spiked tail to help keep predators away. Dinosaurs survived on Earth for a long time. So, were they super smart? They were good hunters and defenders, but most dinosaurs were no smarter than cats or dogs. Scientists believe that most dinosaurs had small brains. Stegosaurus had a brain the size of a walnut. Many reptiles that lived in the Mesozoic era were not dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived only on land. Pterosaurs were flying reptiles. A pterodactyl is a type of pterosaur. Plesiosaurs lived in water during the time dinosaurs lived. Pterosaurs and plesiosaurs were not dinosaurs. Dinosaurs ruled the planet for 165 million years. 
But about 65 million years ago, they all died out or became extinct. Scientists don't know why. Some think a giant meteor hit Earth. Others think an ash cloud from a volcano's explosion blocked the sun, leaving the dinosaurs with nothing to eat. Fossils are the remains of something that existed long ago. They can be in rocks that formed over many years. Other fossils include dinosaur bones. Scientists have learned a lot about dinosaurs by uncovering fossils. A paleontologist is a scientist who studies the history of life on Earth. Paleontologists go on special trips called digs to look for dinosaur bones. When they find bones, they rebuild the skeleton. Each bone is dug up, then it is cleaned. Next, the scientist put the bones together like a very hard puzzle. Paleontologists sometimes make mistakes. A paleontologist put the wrong skull on an apatosaurus skeleton. He thought it was a new kind of dinosaur and called it Brontosaurus by mistake. In 1887, another paleontologist found a skull in Wyoming. He thought it belonged to an extinct bison. Later, he learned it belonged to Triceratops. Back at home, Buzz built a skeleton. Dinosaurs are awesome, he said. I can't wait to go on another field trip. The end.